The Army is the foundation of the Joint Force. By combining well-trained soldiers and adaptive leaders with robust and technologically advanced combat capabilities, the Army can respond to a crisis or threats to national security and execute operations in any environment. The Combat Vehicle Modernization Strategy, or CVMS, describes the importance of effective modern combat vehicles in current and anticipated combat operations. The combination of speed, protection, and lethality that combat vehicles provide, along with their ability to work in concert with many types of ground forces, provide the Army a critical advantage in defeating enemy forces. The Army cannot predict who, when, or where it will fight, but it is certain that combat vehicles are a consistent requirement on an inconsistent landscape. The Army has three types of Brigade Combat Teams, or BCTs. Armored BCT, Striker BCT, and Infantry BCT. This video will focus on the IBCT modernization. The Infantry Brigade Combat Team is an expeditionary, combined arms formation optimized for dismounted operations in complex terrain. The IBCT is the Army's most numerous, tactically versatile, strategically deployable, and adaptive combat formation. The IBCT's greatest limitation is its tactical and operational mobility once deployed. This capability gap is especially critical in expeditionary maneuver where operations rely on swiftly seizing key terrain or facilities to establish a lodgement for follow-on forces. Because potential adversaries possess anti-access A2 and area denial AD capabilities, enabled by their ability to operate from cyberspace and space that prevent direct seizure of air or seaports, the IBCT must maneuver from greater distances into undefended locations and then maneuver rapidly to seize entry points for follow-on forces. This type of movement requires tactical mobility for infantry squads to move quickly on or off road to attack from multiple directions more swiftly than enemies can respond. Today's infantry units are largely foot mobile and can move at less than 3 miles per hour once they exit a vehicle, helicopter, or aircraft, carrying up to 120 pounds of equipment, not including additional weaponry. The CVMS recommends a suite of ground combat vehicles to meet this challenge. The Ground Mobility Vehicle, or GMV, transports a nine-soldier infantry squad quickly from dispersed and offset drop zones and landing strips to assault positions. The Light Reconnaissance Vehicle, or LRV, enables the scout squad to conduct appropriate combinations of mounted and dismounted reconnaissance and provide security for GMV-mounted infantry squads during approach marches to the objective. The Mobile Protected Firepower, or MPF, provides immediate, lethal, long-range, direct, offensive fires in the engagement of dismounted personnel, hardened bunkers, and armored combat vehicles. In crisis situations, the United States will depend on the Army to deploy forces to seize and secure key terrain particularly enemy airfields and other entry points. The airborne IBCT parachutes on multiple drop zones or air lands on landing strips offset from the objective to avoid enemy anti-access, area denial systems, and converge from unexpected directions using a modern suite of combat variants. LRVs employ stealthy reconnaissance ahead of the main body to prevent enemy observation, while soldiers prepare GMVs to move across country in tactical, mounted formations. Scouts employ LRVs to gain and maintain contact with the enemy and identify enemy positions prior to them compromising the IBCT's freedom of maneuver. Scouts equipped with LRVs will perform route and area reconnaissance using appropriate combinations of mounted and dismounted techniques to provide early warning of potential threats to the IBCT. The MPF protects the infantry while on the mounted approach and prevents premature deployment of the infantry. It will also work with the scouts to destroy enemy security elements. 
The IBCT movement is stopped by a bunker. Normally, this would require prolonged firefights and put soldiers and the mission in jeopardy. This enemy strongpoint would have stopped the forward momentum of the IBCT and forced the main body to be committed well outside the designated objective area. The MPF engages and destroys the threat with direct fire. This enables the IVCT to maintain forward momentum and continue the mission to the objective. The IBCT identifies the two main objectives briefed during mission planning, an air defense station on a hilltop and the fortified fighting positions around the airfield. Scouts deployed in and from LRVs will identify a GMV dismount location. MPF vehicle commanders will position their vehicles to provide local security. GMVs are staged at the infantry dismount location and infantry prepare to assault the objective. In preparation for the attack on the first objective, reconnaissance formations utilizing LRVs confirm enemy locations and inform the ground commander. Infantry squads with MPF in support assault the objective. force engages and destroys the threat on objective one, then consolidates and reorganizes before assaulting the next objective. The second assault on objective two will target the fortified positions around the airfield and securing buildings near the runway, then seize the runway. Scouts will continue to conduct reconnaissance gain contact with the enemy and provide early warning, and call for fire. Scouts will identify threat locations to alert the infantry commander. MPF vehicle commanders will engage assault enemy positions, providing supporting fire and help dismounted infantry cross danger areas. The IBCT engages and destroys the enemy on the objective, securing and expanding the lodgement for follow-on forces. With both objectives secured and a defense established, follow-on forces can arrive to the lodgement uncontested. Together, GMV, LRV, and MPF provide commanders freedom of movement and action, enhancing an IBCT's ability to accomplish their mission in the conduct of expeditionary maneuver. Now, our forces can present multiple dilemmas to the enemy and overcome the challenges needed to win against capable and adaptive enemies.